I just thought I'd give you a wee tour of my garden. This is my giant calla lilies. And they are about five feet tall. And as you could see, that's my hand with the size of these. Some of them are huge. Everybody comments on these. It's about five feet tall and it's about five feet wide, the whole bush. And my geraniums are just coming out into floor. It's my wee window basket, my wee cat ornament. And my hostas are doing great. This is one that I split just a few weeks ago. This is my, uh, I keep all my kitchen scraps and everything and I mix it with soil and make my own compost. And my ferns, they just turned up. I just put them in a pot. This is the mummy hosta that I took that wee one from and it's doing great and this is a, a grass that I got an ornamental grass I've got my tulip bulbs lifted out and a few more plants there spring and there's my other fern which just turned up and I put it in a pot and I've mint in there and I shaped this wee tree myself and I just love geraniums with the size. I've grown really, really huge, this geranium. And this wee one on the end is a, a drip, you know, it, it's great for baskets hanging down and that out of your baskets. I think that comes out in pink. So these are my zucchini, which I've just started growing. And now I can tell the difference between uh, the male and female pods on it, the flowers. More geranium and a wee shrub that I'm still waiting to flower. And this is my oregano, which is just coming up again. My strawberries are doing really well. They're growing. These are just over a year old, so I can plant those vines coming off. And this is my black currant bush. So I'm expecting a good crop of that. And my big hydrangea. It hasn't come into flower yet. More of my zucchinis. Crushed eggshells around them, which is great. I love that. My geranium's doing really well. And this is called an angel trumpet plant. And I thought it had died last year, even though you have to overwinter them indoors. But it's coming on great and they produce lovely flowers at night and a lovely perfume off them. So I'm looking forward to that. And this is more zucchini. And that one is fertilized. And I think these are pepper plant seeds that I planted last year that are all coming up again. I'm going to be planting these. I got these tonight. Chives. So that is my next port of call. And more calla lilies. Everybody comments and asks me what they are. So I've got all this tidied up today. And yesterday, this is actually a herb. It's not daisies and it's called fever for you. And you can make tea out of it or rub the leaves in your hands. It's great for headaches. And these are my wee fine tomatoes. I have all planted in eggshells around them. And that and I are doing great. My lovely red scented roses just love these and more calla lilies right beside them aren't they gorgeous I just love them so what else do I have I have these wee bushes and trees 
and my astertions are just coming into flower and they fill all the beds up for me and this is geraniums they're evergreen and they flower during the spring and summer and they're great for filling borders up I actually bought one plant and I've got a loads of them so I'm keeping a few wee spots for have a few ideas for things to go in here but I have geraniums going in and the moon is out so I'm trailing my astersions up this wee small trellis a tiny like we miniature rose and my friend bought me this it comes out in lovely white flower heads so it does that's what it's called that's what it looks like it's from the Hosta family and I have a wee water fountain here for the birds uh, it's solar powered Starsians. I'm training up my wee trellis at the side of the door and these geraniums are doing fantastic it's two different ones pink and red beautiful deep red love the colors of the pink and my forest flame bush which I love I have more geraniums I have to actually fix this wee bench because there's a bit of wood rot, so there is in it. Those bushes. Look at the size, that's about three and a half feet wide, that geranium there. I bought one tiny wee geranium and I have just sell seeds and it's great for filling up borders. So, this is my gazebo which I bought this year and I planted a few more of my uh, calla lilies, Solomon's lilies in the front I think they're only in about two years and they've taken off I have more geranium and astertions when the astertions move they fill everything up these are peony roses this is going to be pink this one and I have another one over here and some pansies just and my wee daisies and my fuchsia bush and I just planted this so I did a few weeks ago and it's doing great and all the wee flowers are doing fantastic in it My daughter was asking me where I bought it. Here's me, I planted it myself. <laughs> and my hanging basket, I have geranium and just like wee pansy flowers in it, wee purple ones. And I just bought this tonight, another hydrangea. And it's a beautiful colour. It's like lilac blue. So I have to pick a spot. I'll just have it on my wee table here in the gazebo for the moment. I got these wee. They're supposed to be like curtain lights, but I thought they were too short. So I just wrapped them around a wee trellis thing and I use it in my gazebo. Got these wee tables here if you can see them. B and M, my neighbours. And this is if I can remember the name, it's all tiny wee red flowers. I've been sitting Yasmin. I've been watching the bees. They love it. I have to paint this arbor. So that's my next project next week, getting this arbor washed and paint it. And more geraniums. And my calla lilies go growing right up my window. That's just a wee uh, solar powered light. And look at the height. 
seven foot tall rosebush, would you believe that? So I thought I'd show you around my garden tonight and it's pretty quiet because it's usually kids running about. Excuse my neighbours chatting there. And I got this wee slide and that for the grandkids and the wee swing, which they really love. So some sides of garden. I love gardening so I don't mind the work and fault. And the birds and that you can hear singing. Lovely and peaceful, lovely place to sit in. So I hope this has inspired you to get out and do a wee bit of shopping for plants. You can pick some up in the charity shops, really cheap, 50 pence each and stuff. I tend to go for things that'll grow every year and I love evergreens as well. So God bless everyone and have a lovely evening.